wanna, I just 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 wanna have fun and make me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you this look and if you want to see how to achieve this then keep watching okay first you guys i'm going to start off with the becca ever matte poreless priming perfector and yeah i'm gonna put this all over my face to prime sit like in the t-zone and let the rest do a thing because I'm really oily, like really oily in my T-zone, like no joke, like almost like an oil spill. If I don't use a matte primer then it's like no purpose of doing my makeup. And I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready Makeup, duh it's makeup, oh in the color 112 Mocha and this is a foundation. I don't even say that as a foundation on there, but yeah, I just literally apply it to my face. I don't know, this is backwards. Okay, I apply it to my face like literally don't put a lot on my forehead. Okay, I would use this brush by Jessup, but you can see my sister that's like five years old use this to put eyeshadow on and she put it on her face so I'm going to be using this Sephora brand brush it's kind of dirty that's why I didn't really use it and I'm using this side to just stipple in the foundation like and I need my like milk and I need my makeup to last like more than 12 hours I will use the Laura Mercier powder and I will put it over top of the primer and then I would put the foundation on but I'm not going anywhere so yeah that will make it last longer and make your face like match forever make sure you don't forget your neck And yeah, I leave like the under part of my eye to concealer. I'm using a Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I just got this and I don't really know how I feel about it right now. So yeah, I got the color Deep and apply this under my eyes. I think this is the darkest shade. Well, it was the darkest one in my Sephora, so they need to do better with that, but Luckily, it works for me. Pocahontas. <laughs> Girl, you know. Then I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush. It's an essential foundation brush, but I'm using this for concealer, and I'm just gonna buff this in. As you can tell, I don't use a lot, because I don't want a lot. Just buff it in, like patting it, and like, I like patting, most chains. And so far, I like the concealer. I use it for like three days. I like it. It's, it blends out pretty well. And I mean, I haven't seen extreme creasing. I don't know. Every concealer I use creases to me. And I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And the, the blender thing I usually use it with, I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to use this one. It's okay. This one's alright. I don't really know where I got this from. But, yeah. Apply like a lot and just pat it in so I can just wipe away the excess. The excess, I don't know which one that is. 
access excess tomato tomato i'm not really sure if that's how it works every time i apply translucent powder i get hungry because it reminds me of powdered donuts And who doesn't love a powder donut? See, like, the creasing, I don't really know. I feel like everything does creases, I think. I just have lines in general. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, brush away with the Real Techniques Multitask Brush and... powder away and then I'm gonna also apply the rest of the place I didn't set powder with I'm gonna set it with this powder which is the uh, black radiance press powder and ebony First, I'm going to set them with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. You know, you probably heard about this. It does the job. Okay, so I'm going to first use a transition color. Okay, don't judge my Morphe 350 palette. It's really like bad and I'm butchered. But. And this one's like falling out, the one right here. So I'm just gonna take it out. Cool. So I'm gonna be using this shade right here. And I'm going to use this as my transition color. Blend this into your crease in a little like upward. So I'm gonna use this brush by Sonia Katshuk and just a basic blending brush, like really fluffy. And apply that transition color so it can be more blended better. We're gonna go in with this color right there. And we're gonna make it more intense. And blend until you're tired. I mean, not even until you're tired, until you're, I don't even know. Just blend, okay? Just blend a lot. So then I'm gonna go in with this more like deeper color. I'm gonna take this on the outside. You really don't need that many brushes. I mean, you can if you want to, to keep switching brushes if you don't feel like you want that color. To me, I just use the same brush. It's all the same thing. I'm gonna use 
this flat brush by Sonia Kashuk and these are so pretty it has like the little SK at the bottom and I'm gonna be using the color I'm about to use oh, this one right here and just pack this on blending brush and blend that out. I'm use this little dress up brush. It's like a dome shape little brush and I'm going to use this color. I'll also hit paint on this because I love this color so much. My inner tear duct. literally just packing all of this kind of bringing it up okay I did the other eye off camera but then I decided I'm gonna do the lashes last cause I don't feel like doing it right now but I'm gonna use the glow kit in sun dipped and I'm gonna use the color bronze in tourmaline tourmaline and I'm going to use this fan brush Applying bronze first, we need bronze right now. And tourmaline like just makes it more kind of like almost white, but not white, but like brighter. Now bring it up to like a C shape and dust this on my nose. Makes it brighter and like pop more. Then use Z1 right here. Tap off by Colourpop and apply this all over I'm fine chestnut Let's put the lashes on because I've been dreading it. I'm gonna do it off camera. I'm gonna be applying the double up lashes in 203 by Ardell. So, yeah, I'll get back to you in a second. So, now I'm gonna apply the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And this one's a little mini size. The last thing like forever. And these lashes are super duper. But I did put them on so I'm not taking them off because I hate putting on lashes. It takes forever. Now we're gonna spray our face with Urban Decay All Night or Makeup Setting Spray. And you can drench your face in this. look this complete so yeah just wait for your face to dry and this just makes it look more like skin
again and like all t- together and like mixing it you know but crazy right now but and also like blends the highlight in so it won't look so powdery and looks more like your face in the natural highlights and hope you guys enjoy watching see you next time peace out